I think they link up, but we'll see. They have to throw, yeah, they have to run through them like kids. They gotta make sure that, you know, they don't get scalded on the way. Alright, so, I'm not really, I mean, you know, th this prison, I think we're gonna go out this prison, you know, the, the Moonside Correctional Airbnb and Grill, alright? So, cause, you know, we're for profit, so we have to have a little bit of sponsorship. This is the grill. We're an Airbnb, but see here, we're running a new kind of concept for the Airbnb. What we're doing is, um, we send you reservations. And attendance is mandatory. It's like you're just sitting there one day, and you get an, you get a postcard. It's like your reservation has been set for the Moonside Correctional Airbnb and Grill, and the date is is this day. All right. Um, I've got this open right here. That's bad. I think we want to close this this off too. I don't think we need to, but we we just want to make sure, right? Last thing we need. Let the fence go. Last thing we need is I'm somehow getting out the doors and making a run for it. Honestly, we should probably just put fence all around. Just double layer it. There we go. It's a bit of a no man's land here, but we can fix that. We can put like a staff door here. Staff door there. And then that should keep them from getting out. In case they decide to dig. Or they somehow wander out of one of these doors. Alright. I think... I think we're about ready for our first intake. running that high in power already. Okay, um, where's intake at? Let's get in, like, total prisoners, we're gonna take in five. A couple guards. All right. Thought you could run out of those. Feels like a real prisoner. Come and stay in your own cell for the real prisoner. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's the prison experience. You'll, you'll get the whole prison experience. All right. So in 14 hours, we're gonna get our first. Uh, Do this first. Do the office desk. Like this. Go right here. Go ahead and put. It. So we're, we've we've sent out 
Our mandatory reservations to five people. We've already got this taken care of. We just don't have a legit shower room. I think that's the issue. But we'll we'll set that up. Well, we could set it up here, I guess. Rooms. How big does a shower have to be? Will it fuck things up? Shower. Just need shower heads. If I do this. Ah, shit. Well, we got the grant money, so it'll be fine. Uh, where's the holding cell? There we go. We got the grant money for that. Alright, so now we just need to hire the warden. There you go. Thousand big ones. Right, now we just need to hire the accountant, which we already have. Let's see, office. The room's already. There's gonna be no doors. Nobody gets a door here. How do we get an accountant? Or do I have to do this? Oh, we have to do this, okay. Finance. Research that. All right. Good. There we go. <laughs> hey, German Gamer One, and hey, Rick. How's it going? My first prison. I mean, it pretty much is. I played this like I, I did the sandbox mode for like an hour once, and I did the campaign mode for a YouTube series like a year or two ago. So this is my first actual building a prison. <laughs> Guys, what the hell happened to the fence here? What the hell, guys? I didn't finish the job. <laughs> All right, I feel like we're going to need to our cleaning. Oh, we can't do cleaning yet. All right. All right. So we're ready for the prison. I cancel it? Did I? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. How you guys doing? Slab slab bacon. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> okay. All right. So this is like the most. This is just. This is the small little. Like this is. This is the start of our Airbnb and grill. <laughs> yeah, it, it's an Airbnb prison. Exactly. Well, Airbnb and grill because we're sponsored. Oh, I canceled the whole selection. Okay. So we're the, we're the Moonside Upstate Airbnb and grill. Attendance is mandatory. So the invitations went out, the reservations. All right. So he's getting that done. We got 29,000 bucks. I mean, I feel like we could go ahead and actually start building the prison itself, like with all the cell blocks and everything. It's Bob's grill, it could be Bob's grill. Make sure you have nice fluffy pillows. You hear that's good for getting more stars from guests. No, this is this is the prison experience. We've we've only hooked up hot water to these shower heads. It's like so we gr we grant them hot water, but they only get hot water. So it's like scalding. It's like two hundred degrees Celsius. <laughs> you got to run through it really fast. All right, these guys are gonna need a staff room too. So that's something we want to consider. Could put it like out here. Like have it just a staff room over here. What's a staff room take? Let's see. Rooms. How big does a staff room have to be? Four by four. Oh, that's okay. So these guys are going to need somewhere to hang out before they get tired because we do have that turned on. 
So let's plan this. So we'll just have a little staff room here. Objects. There we go. I mean, it could be. Yeah, it could be Bob's Grill that we're running here. That's our sponsor. That's our hidden sponsor, Bob's Grill. Sofa and a drinks machine. But they're probably going to want food too, because I know that's the thing they want. But we'll get we'll get them what they need. Get them a couple drinks machines. Get them a wide sofa. Even, let's see, we'll even get him like a TV in here. Which way is it? There we go. Alright. 200 degrees Celsius showers because don't worry about your personal hygiene if you're dead. It'll scald that bacteria right off. You just gotta be quick enough. That's, that's all. And if it takes off the first couple layers of skin, it's fine. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> and if you have any tattoos, it'll take it right off. When that skin just comes... <laughs> when your whole body just degloves, it'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, they, they can't... Well, they can leave. There is leaving. They just... They're, they have a very long sentence, that's all. Alright, well look, he's already using the staff room. Awesome. So we don't know anything that's wrong with him, but he's on break, so. Alright. Oh, and it looks like the warden finished his job. So we can hire an accountant. Get to work, lady. Okay. Now, let's see. What do we want to get? We want to get... I want to get maintenance. I feel like maintenance is a big thing. Prison policy. Let's do that and security. All right. Warren's doing them both, I suppose. Yeah, he's got them both queued up. All right. So we got prisoners coming in in four guests guests coming in in 4 hours. So we're going to see we're going to see this all function. We're going to see how this works. So what do we have? Prison grading, main menu, bureaucracy, reports. So we can take, oh yeah, we got, we got those grants done. So we want to do cell block A and what, prison maintenance, or cleaning through bureaucracy, we can do this. Staff well-being, what does staff build the staff room, have at least five guards without assigned duties to ensure none of your staff are exhausted. 
prison maintenance. Do those. All right. Prison, prison maintenance is already in the works. Got your, oh yeah, I saw that. You got your SNES Classic in the mail yesterday. I saw you post a picture of that. Now you can play Earthbound. Oh, does it have Earthbound on it? Oh, that's amazing. Earthbound's a classic. I still want to stream Earthbound sometime. I've been really thinking about doing Xenogear sometime soon. Well, sometime soon. I know next month I want to do City Skylines. So, I don't know. Maybe after that. All right, we got paid. All right, so we need to start the, while well, this is all happening, we need to start planning out our first prison block. So I think maybe we could branch it off of here. So everyone, we'll, we'll eventually chop and change this yard. Maybe turn this, so. Let's do this, let's do some planning. We could even maybe move the yards, so they'll eventually come through here. We may just this is all just planning for now. So like here's the cap two. Cap tier is probably gonna need an expansion, because I figure once we get the prison block, this isn't gonna be big enough. So yeah, oh, so yeah, they're still selling the SNES. I was surprised. I've heard so many people saying they're waiting for like the GameCube classic or something. Okay, so we're gonna get our cell block A, and I think cell block A is gonna be like this. How big do cell blocks have to be? I think they're like two by three, I think, right? Cell, so, two by three, yeah, okay. So the canteen will like get expanded out to here, so. Planning. And they'll like come in here. Two, three. So that could be like a cell block. <laughs> yeah, the whole Nintendo being very kind of bad at meeting demand on things. Always wonder if they do it on purpose, if they're like creating artificial you know, artificial demand. I mean, I guess it saves money, right? <laughs> All right, 14 minutes, we got some prisoners coming in. Here they come. Well, that's perfect, look at that. That lands up perfect. All right, guys. Here's our first. Here's our first guests. All the cell doors have closed. Nice. All right, guys. Welcome. Welcome to the Moonside Upstate Airbnb and Grill. Welcome. You're getting the authentic. You're getting the authentic prison experience. Alright, maintenance is done. There you go. Beswick? Beswick, what, 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 have, what are you in here for? Vandalism. Because he tore up his postcard. So he's staying with us for a year. John Treese? Six years for shoplifting. So he's, he's gonna be staying with us for six years. 
He's gonna be here for a little while. I feel like we need... Where's our other guard? He's on a freaking break. Get a couple more guards going. Can't just have these guys standing out here. Alright. Let's see. Mark Balthazar, you're you're with us for six and nine years. You're gonna be having a long stay with us. Riku? Killed five guys and one dog. Poor dog. Since the six years for shoplifting. Wait. <laughs> he killed five guys and one dog. He's minimum security. What the hell? Alright, oh yeah, we need to change our intake now. So we don't want... We don't want any more intake until we've got we've got people. Yeah, this thing's got some good RPG goodness. Earthbound Final Fantasy three. So wait, Final Fantasy three, the American Final Fantasy three, or what? What turned out to be Final Fantasy six? Secret of Mana is a good one. Super Mario RPG is a good one. Earthbound, obviously. Man, I have all those games. That's the funny thing. I have all of them. Alright, we're getting a foreman. We still can't get... What's the foreman do? Let's you gain access to janitors. Oh, this is the guy we need for this office. So... Alright. He'll, he'll let us clean this place because it's kind of a mess right now. Oops. That's. There we go. Cause this, this prison's already kind of a mess. All right, we're gonna need to post the guard in here. All right, we're not doing too bad. Uh, they deserved it, but the dog was a bystander. <laughs> We don't have deployment. That's something we're going to need, definitely. Like, right now, I'm over here. I need to be looking at these guys. But yeah, I can't, like... I can't deploy anyone right now, I guess. Yeah. So we're going to need to unlock that soon. Just make sure they're... You know, doing the right thing. Alright. Staff... Let's get the foreman in. So let's see, now we can do groundskeeping and cleaning. Let's do that, let's do cleaning. It's the American Final Fantasy 3, so 6, okay, yeah. Awesome. That's that's one of the best ones, honestly. I love that one. Okay, so let's see, let's get back to planning. Okay. They're going to need holding cells, too, so that's something we're going to have to consider. Let's see. This takes our capacity up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It takes us up to 14. We need, what, 15 capacity? Yeah, 15. All right. 
We can do this. So this will be cell block A. And then we can always expand it down here later. So we're gonna need holding cells. I don't think these guys are gonna be really obnoxious. They are just minsec, but. Hang on, let's see, one, two, three. have like this kind of whole thing up here. And we'll keep like in fact. Or no. And three solitary ought to be fine. A little bummed out. Let's see. To deploy or upset patch, you need to upgrade security. Yeah. So you're a little bummed out missing the, S, uh, the NES Classic. But honestly, there's much better NES one. Mostly med games, SNES. Pretty much all standout games. Also has Legend of Zelda. Nice. Star Fox, Street Fighter 2, Super Metroid, Mega Man X. That's really good. That's a really good one. All right, so, and right now we'll just keep this as the yard, I guess. So we'll have this like, I guess path for here for now. So this will, this will still be their yard. Okay, so this is cell block A. Oh, they're gonna need a shower facility. That's right, we're we gonna put their showers. We can put them down here. Let's do that. So let's have let's have their showers be down there. So we'll come in like that. Awesome. That'll work. It's like you're seven all over again. God, when when did how old was I when the SNES came out? I think I was six when the NES came out. I can't remember. Man, those are some good games. I still like playing Earthbound. I, I There's a lot of games on the SNES that I would still go back and play once in a while. I played the hell out of Legend of Zelda. I played the hell out of Super Metroid, Earthbound, Final Fantasy 3, 6. Um, I play tons of RPGs on the, the Super Nintendo Chrono Trigger. Does it have Chrono Trigger? I'll be disappointed if it doesn't have Chrono Trigger. It's not complete if it doesn't have Chrono Trigger. <laughs> it was 91, so I'd have been 11 when that came out. We're gonna need some more capacitors on this thing too. Okay, so this is gonna be cell block A. We've got the showers, we've got the canteen over here. I think this will work. It's gonna cost us a lot of money, but it'll work. Your five when it came out. Didn't tell which one kept until a couple years later. Yeah, I think I didn't get one right away, so I like didn't get the one that came with um, Super Mario World. I had to rent Super Mario World to play it. But yeah, Chrono Trigger is the one game you really wish it had, but it doesn't. That game got released on so many things. 
I had it on Super Nintendo, and then when it came out on the PS1, I bought it on PS1 because it was like bundled with a Final Fantasy. And then I think it's on the DS too. Then I think there is a PC. I think there's. I think it's on Steam as well. I think. So. I'm not sure like how those versions are, but man. Those are good. Like an Earthbound, Earthbound, man. Earthbound was the first RPG I ever got. Let's go ahead and build the foundation for this. So Just have like a little pathway that comes in here for now. Or it doesn't even have to. Alright guys, get to work. PS1 was the first time you played Corona Trigger. You got the NES a few years after it came out, but the SNES but got the SNES pretty quickly. I don't remember when. Yeah, let's see. Earthbound was the first RPG I ever played and pretty much opened my eyes to the world of them. The first RPG I ever saw was Dragon Quest. And, like, my dad played it. So, when I would, like, go visit, because my parents were separated, um, he would play Dragon Quest. And to me, it just looked too complicated at the time. So I thought RPGs were just too complicated and boring. But then I had Nintendo Power. I like got Nintendo Power when it first came out. I had the first issue. I'm sure that thing's probably a museum piece by now, but the first issue, the cover was falling off. It was a terrible condition. I don't even know if I have it anymore, unfortunately, because it was so ratty, but Nintendo Power at the time had been pimping Earthbound so much that I decided to rent it one day. And um I didn't really understand because I remember like I loaded up the game and it said like you know it had already you know it said save files on it like from people who played it before and, like it said levels and I was like there's a lot of levels in this game <laughs> and then finally as I started playing it I started realizing what all that meant and um, playing Earthbound like opened my eyes to it because I was like this game is really fun I suddenly I'm like I love RPGs and then I went then I got Chrono Trigger next I actually. Well, I bought Earthbound eventually. Love the hell of it. And then I got Chrono Trigger next, and then that was it. That was me hooked on RPGs for like the next 20 years. It was great. And then I, then I like played nothing but RPGs. I like wouldn't play anything else. So it was like Final Fantasy. Played all the Final Fantasies I could. Played a lot of... Just so many of them. That was all. That was all I would play. I wouldn't play anything else. And like once a year, I'd go back and play Earthbound again. I had the whole. I had the whole thing. The big box that came with the player's guide. Came with all the like scratch and sniff cards. You almost needed the player's guide for that game because it was such a JRPG that <laughs> you needed. You needed the tips and tricks on how to like beat some of the bosses. And I remember when I first discovered the rock candy trick. Uh, that's the best trick in the whole game. That changes the game, but unfortunately it's like three-fourths of the way through. Alright, we still got 38,000 bucks. Let's see. We need to unlock groundskeeping. Hire at least two janitors. Hire a gardener. Have we learned that already? I guess we have these guys are in the staff room okay so we've unlocked need to do that one and let's see um, need to do security oh, we already know we need to learn deployment requires chief oh forget that then I guess we're I guess guess we're already doing it. 
All right. I guess I should save this too. Save the prison. I'm not. There we go. That's the name of our prison. Can we name the prison officially? All right, so we're gonna need more offices, I guess. But we can get. Did we not unlock him? Oh yeah, we unlocked janitor. Here we go. All right. They'll get to cleaning because this place is a mess. It's a right mess. Why am I going on single speed? Okay, we need to get the electrical grid over here. I need another hot water here over here, I guess. So I don't think the hot water is going to spread that far. See if that'll that might not extend all the way down here. In fact, I don't think it's going to. I want to be careful with these pipes, of course, because I think they can kind of dig their way out that way. I think if the, if they start digging and they hit those pipes, they can get out real quick. The moon was hooked for all time. You're living to get into RPGs in the late 2000s. It was an FPS person before that. You don't like FPSs anymore? Yeah, I used to play I like used to play Doom a lot. And Wolfenstein and Heretic and that stuff. Some at work was asking you asking you what games you like to play. You said not sports and not racing, pretty much anything else. Yeah, I don't like sports games too much. I tried to get into them. I didn't really like them. Although there was one, there was the Tiny Toons one, I think, for Super Nintendo. Or was it for the Sega Genesis? I can't remember. I think it was for the Genesis. There was the Tiny Toons sports games I actually really liked. And then, um... Racing... Now, racing games like Mario Kart I really like, but standard, like, uh, Gran Turismo and that, I wasn't a big fan of them. But yeah, like, uh, Mario Kart was really fun. I like those. <laughs> Gotta return to work? Alright, Rick. Have a good one. So yeah, like, yeah, Doom was a big one for me. I loved Doom. Of course, we played the latest Doom on Steam. We don't seem to have power extending- oh, they haven't finished- they haven't finished building the power, okay. They're still working on it. Alright, guys. What are you guys talking about? What are you guys whispering about? Make sure you're all still there. Okay, I guess we need to get another office. Oh look, everything's getting clean now. That's good. Alright, so we need to expand these offices too, so I guess let's do some little bit of planning. I don't know how many offices we're gonna need. Four by four, yeah, so five. We could get like an extra office up here. In case we need. Any 
uh, yeah, we actually want to build it into that wall. All right. So you had the first NASCAR game on your IVM 200 megahertz with MMX. All you did was crash car and watch it in slow motion. <laughs> I didn't have a piece. Now, I didn't have my own PC for a long, long time. I was in college before I had my own PC. Like, uh, my dad had a PC, so of course when I went to go visit, you know, I would play on that. And of course I had friends that had a PC. But I'd say I was like, how old was When did I go to university? I went to university when I was like 22, 21 or 22. Um, and then I got a PC then. So yeah, it was a very long time before I had one. And then, um, let's see. I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, the first, the fr then the first PC I ever had was, uh, a used one. It was in the first three months of owning it. Uh, some capacitors on the motherboard blew out. <laughs> so the motherboard went bad. And then, um, that was pretty much when I learned how to build computers. So I opened it up, you know, I, I saw what was broken in it. And I was like, I can do this. I can put one of these together. And so then I pretty much built my own PC after that. <laughs> so that was also my, like, uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, hang on. No, guys, get. It. I see what's going on here. Let me select the door. Guys, here we go. We can lock that open for now, cause nobody's going in or out. That's what's slowing that down. Okay. Yeah, I think I was like, what, four, yeah, 14 when my dad, like, had a computer. So it was a very long time before I had my own. Just couldn't afford it. I mean, like, my dad's side of the family was kind of, you know, well off. My mom's side of the family, we weren't poor, but we weren't, like, we weren't super well off. So it was, like, very, very, we had to really kind of, the, the big luxuries weren't a thing. And like when my mom bought me my first Nintendo, she was she actually told me it's like any of the game system you want after this, you have to save up and buy yourself, which I did. So you know, I had a Super Nintendo, I had a Sega Genesis, I had a Game Gear, I had a PS One, and I had a PS Two. Actually, I didn't buy the PS Two um, at the time. Avalon and I were dating, and she bought it. But then when we split, she was like, "You take it because you." you get more use out of it than I do, so. And then I bought my own PS3, and yeah. Then I bought my own DS. I had the, I had the, Game, Boy, well, the Game Boy Advance. I didn't have a Game Boy, I had a Game Boy Advance. And then I had the DS, and I've got a 3DS. So yeah. I kinda, I kinda stick to PC mostly. Right, where are we at this? We still need to hire a gardener. I think I think we could do that now, can we? Janitor gardener. Here we go. Grant gotten. Awesome. We'll hire a couple. These guys are all on break. We seem to be doing okay. Uh I guess they're starting to work on this. Or did I cancel it? Did I cancel that again? No, I didn't. They're just all busy, okay. Because they were, they were stuck because they couldn't get in the doorway. <laughs> all 
All right, I think we can take another grant, so. We're still working on cell block A, health and well-being, staff well-being initiative, build the staff room. This one shouldn't be too hard. We're like practically there already. When we get some more guards, we're only making 80 bucks, so we need to watch that. We don't want to hire any more people. We're going into the red. My first computer was the Atari 2600, then you had the Commodore 64. You're very lucky your dad was an engineer. Felt the need to learn about PCs, so you go to 486 for 2600 in the early 90s. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Oh yeah, I, I did have a Pong station. Like the, the old ones, it was just two knobs you'd hook to a TV. I also did have an Atari. I can't remember what kind it was. Yeah, there's lights in the kitchen. It's just, I got the, I've got the fog of war on. So... Nobody can see it. The guards can't see in there. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I had an Atari. I had the one that had like a keyboard attached to it. I can't remember what kind it was. What it was called. But it had like the keyboard and like the cartridge had like a flip top. So you'd like flip top and plug the car the cartridge in. I had one of those. And it had like, it came with a, a cartridge on it that had like, you could learn basic. And unfortunately, at the time, I was too young to understand what it was. And it wasn't until high school when I got a TI calculator that I learned how to program in BASIC. And then I went to court, I went to college, learned actual BASIC. Oh, you're, oh no, wait, you can open plan, that's fine. It's an open plan office. Alright, I feel at this point we do need to get more prisoners in, because this is this is too tight. So let's go ahead and get this worked on. We're making we're only making eighty bucks. We need more prisoners at this point. So let's see, we need to get the fences. Let's get the fences up. We'll extend the fence around. How are we going? Did I just undo all that? I just undid all that, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Oh no, it's still there. Are they doing it? Need to dismantle that right there. Dismantle that. And how is this double speed? Look how slow they go at normal speed. Holy crap. And the computer was in the keyboard and the cartridge on the side. There were some really neat Ataris. Man, I kind of missed that thing. I actually saw a picture of one. There was someone like tweeted that they f were like in a university like archive closet or something. Electronics University. It was like an archives closet and they had one of those Ataris and I'm like... I had one of those. Actually, I actually remember that cartridge, that basic cartridge came with a book too, but man, I was just too young to understand it. Cause I think I was like seven years old and I just didn't, I didn't get that it was a computer language. I just really didn't get it. It's such a shame cause like, it wasn't until it didn't work any, I think it broke. I can't remember if it broke or if we got rid of it. I think when I got on Nintendo, I stopped playing it, so maybe that was what happened, or just, just stopped working. I can't remember. I have no idea what happened to that thing. I mean, if I'd just been a bit older, I probably would have played it with a lot. But it wasn't until high school that I really got into programming.
All right, the fence is going up. So let's go ahead and work on this cell block so we can get some more freaking money. All right, they're gonna get brick walls, and then we can just we can do the duplicate thing. So wait, hang on, this is all fencing. Ah, shit. That's all fence. That to be brick walls. Well, they're caught. They're caught in the trees again. We need to do something with this wood. I think we can actually just straight up sell it, can't we? Hang on. Can I sell it? Sell object. Hey, that gave me 150 bucks. Oh, nice. Let's sell some of those. Sweet. Yeah, there we go. That was... There we go. So it looks like they've all had their meals. All right, probably gonna wanna, hang on. Yeah, then get around this way, okay. We'll probably wanna extend the fence and then cut down this fence. Cause they're gonna start coming through here. How does planning work? Planning is just, it's just marking. That's all it is. So you can just like, you want to do this. That's all it is. It's just so you like can differentiate. So like that's an object, pathways, you know. It's just so you can plan things out. So you can decide how you want to lay stuff out before you, you, you lock it down. That is all it is. Okay, so I think we want to put some fences up here. Put a fence here and a fence here. Oh, they did take that out, okay. All right, so staff can get into this area, no problem. Prisoners shouldn't be able to. Hang on, guys. Go in here. I see. Two, three, four, five. Okay, they're all in there. <laughs> I don't think they'd start digging yet, but you know. Okay. Did I cancel that? No, they're still working. Okay. Now we need what do we need? We need um we need beds, we need a standard door. We need um a toilet. Where's the beds at? On a bed. I think that's all you need for a cell. I think. Yeah, just need to bend the toilet. All right. And then we just need to wait for these guys to get over here. We can just dismantle this, I think. So this guy can't get out now. <laughs> this 
This guy's actually trapped in here. There's no way for him to get out. Oops. No. What did I just do? Okay. Uh, so it won't matter if they kind of get over here. Um... Yeah, this poor guy is just trapped. <laughs> I've made a prison just for him. He can't even get out because no one can open the door for him. All right, here he comes. He's come. He's coming to rescue. How do you tell it to build there? Uh, you you don't. You just uh, you do you do the standard building. So like you know, if I want to put a wall down, I'll just physically put a wall down. That's it. Okay, so we'll let that cell build. Oh, it's eat time. Everyone's having some eats. What are we having today? Bird. Sentenced to three years for possession. Intent to supply. Looks like we're having some bacon. Someone didn't eat their bacon. Who the hell didn't eat their bacon? Whose meal was this? I want to know exactly whose meal that was. Didn't eat the bacon. There's gonna be a fight. <laughs> See, we'll run. Pipes down like this. Give solitary a toilet. There we go. Uh, Warden Moon entertaining herself by locking workers up. <laughs> they gotta get to work, alright? I feel like we're gonna need more guards at this rate. But once we get deployment, some things will be made a bit easier. We're only we're only making eighty bucks right now, so we need more prisoners. Guests, guests to the Moonside Upstate Airbnb. Oh look, someone's already moved in. Airbnb and Grill, DDS. We got a dentist. So while while you have some grill, we work on your grill. <laughs> we gotta get all the sponsorships here. Looks like Balthazar has, has moved in. He's he's actually got a bed. See, he's the first one to get a bed. Fifteen years for forgery. I mean, the guy that killed five people and a dog didn't get that much. So he's all plumbed in. Okay, so here's what we can do. Quick build. What is it? Clone? So if I do this, I'll just work. Clone. Like, yeah, here we go. I'll like, do this. Or no. Do this.
There we go. Then that'll give everyone cells. Hey, Periander! I have coke in the work workers' rest area, I do. Yeah, this is this is my first time really building my own prison. I did the campaign mode about a year ago, and then I played... I think I did this for like an hour, and then I just... I got sidetracked. Look, we're getting 360 bucks now. Crap. Money just shot up. <laughs> 